Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where today we have a very good boy! Look at him! Look at him! Look at those eyes! Look at those ears! Oh, you guys, I have a soft spot for that loyal gaze of a golden retriever. And today we are going to be mixing and matching all sorts of curious crossbreed creations in order to see what kind of amazing creatures we can create. And we're going to be working with a golden retriever! named Ken! Look at you! Hi, Ken! Oh my gosh, I love Golden so much. They just have that big open personality where they're just full of love and kindness and you just feel like you can like snuggle up a against a good Golden and they're just like, yes, I love you. I will always love you. I will be your friend. And I think that they are very good boys and girls and you know, all the, all the good puppies out there. Uh, and I also love how Ken here has a ridiculously cute little bandana courtesy once again of Kalino's amazing mods. So be sure to check out her mods if you really want to deck out your dogs in style. We could even give Ken little water booties if we wanted to, but we're, we're gonna go ahead and just leave him with his bandana today because you see, friends, Ken is off on a grand adventure. He happens to be a very adventurous dog who has gotten himself, well, a little bit lost. And normally this would be an extremely bad turn of events, but lucky for Ken, his owner actually happens to be one of you guys who work here here at our random pets laboratory and look I tell you guys to wear your lab coats and to wash your hands thoroughly when you go home but sometimes you know a little bit of the uh, special science that we use happens to rub off on your pets and that is what has happened with Ken here so he has actually been wandering around in the woods a little bit lost his his owner happens to live in a very nice beautiful wooded area somewhere around Montana he's even been able to be in the car and go through Yellowstone and see a bison a time or two good boy Ken uh, and today he's actually going to be stumbling on none other then Wilda. Behold! Wilda the brown bear. And if Wilda is actually like a, br a black bear with a brown coat or a grizzly bear, I'm kind of going to leave that up to debate. I think she looks more like... She does have a little bit of hump on her back, just like the grizzly bears do. So maybe we'll go ahead and say that Wilda is indeed a grizzly bear. So we're going to change this to grizzly bear. And normally this would be a very bad thing if you had your dogs run into bears. In real life, you absolutely do not want that to happen. That is why you do not let your pets wander off, especially in nat like national parks where there's all of the uh, the very large natural predators who still happen to live there, like a freaking grizzly bear. I am l more than a little bit concerned about running into a grizzly bear in Yellowstone. However, we're going to be exceptionally safe and in a group of like six people, we're going to have bear spray. It's going to be okay. Easy there, Siri. Uh, but... In this case, when our wonderful Ken happens to be wandering through the woods, he is going to have a little bit of that special science magic from our laboratory, so that when he bumps into Wilda, well, instead of going ahead and seeing a potential meal, Wilda has a little bit of a spark in her eyes. She blinks a few times, and after a little while, these two really connect. Thankfully, I think Ken is going to be able to find his way back home uh, pretty soon, but not before leaving Wilda with a little litter of golden retriever and grizzly bear babies that we are going to go ahead and breed up. So I hope you guys are ready for this. But alright guys, let's go ahead and have Wilda give birth in the spring, hopefully sending some of our scientists into a flurry of trying to track them down and keep notes about all of these crossbreed creations. And let's start having size B Grizzly Bear Golden Retriever crossbreeds! That sounds amazing! All right. Oh! Look at how cute this baby is! Oh my goodness, he's got Ken's ears! Oh, you're so precious! But alright guys, so as usual, if you guys would like to become one of our Curious Crossbreeds, all you need to do is leave a comment down below, and the random comment generator may pick you to go ahead and be plucked up and uh, brought into the world as a very unique creature indeed. Let's just say that. And this time around, we're actually going to have Sunny! Olive, thank you so much for the name Sunny, because that is very adorable. Uh, apparently all the name suggestions happen to be from Wings of Fire, so if you guys recognize any of these characters, Clay, Sunny, Starflight, Glory, Tsunami, Darkstalker, Anemone, and Moonwatcher, then do let me know. Uh, those all sound like, like, actually Tsunami was the name of my beta fish, so good choice there. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what traits Sunny's gonna have. 
Sunny, you are gonna be friendly, a hunter, and very stubborn. So, oh, she's got a good mix of traits. I'm really excited to see what she looks like when she grows up, but I love that she's just a round little rotund puppy. Oh, I've got puppy hunger pretty bad lately, guys. I'm gonna be honest. All right, let's go ahead and generate her to pick the next person. And the next little one born, oh, all black, what? With the bear ears? Look at you, and two colored eyes. Friends, this is actually going to be, let's see, let's see. All right, this is going to be Warrior. After Warrior Cats Lover 184. And Warrior, welcome, welcome to the family. You are aggressive. You are going to prove yourself. You are adventurous and you are playful. And I love the idea of possibly doing an elk and a wolf mix. I think we may have done that before, but if not, that is way overdue, especially because that keeps with the Yellowstone theme and the wolf quest theme that we're currently doing. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add that to the list. Thank you very much, Warrior Cats lover. You are an aggressive little, like, what would you call like a, a golden retriever and a bear mixed together? Huh. Huh. Grizzly bear. A grizzly, let's see, grizzly reaver? Grizzly gr reaver? <laughs> I don't know. I need help coming up with a cool name for these little ones. But look at this little one. All right, let me pull up the random comment generator. And this is actually going to be Angeline. Angeline, welcome. Welcome. Oh, let's see. Angel. Yeah, there we go. Angeline. And you are going to also be aggressive, very smart, and a couch potato. And I think you're gonna have quite a bit of the grizzly attitude, actually. Look, you have the grizzly tail. You're gonna have dad's long ears, but definitely the grizzly muzzle may be well suited for being able to go fishing in some of the rivers around here. Oh, this is so cute. I love seeing how the coloring has really been like kept up from Ken, the golden rich. All right. And then next up, we're gonna have itty bitty little Oh my gosh, what a cute name! Look at how fluffy! I love the fluffy babies. I think I'm in the mood to definitely do some fluffy crossbreeds. Uh, and Cheese, you suggest having a water dragon and a cheetah mix, so I will add that down to the list. And then we're actually going to see about a sheep and a tiger. Ooh, that's a good mix. I wonder what species of sheep live where tigers are native. The, the, oh, and uh, Cheese, even though, you know what, I'm going to leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Who knows what weird quirk of the laboratory science has managed to get into Cheese's genetics, but apparently Cheese wants to produce dairy. Normally I always reroll that because come on Cheese, you're not part cow, but I'm just gonna step back and let that happen because the baby's name is Cheese and we're just gonna let science be weird. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, moving on. Moving on, oh my word. All right, all right, hang on. I've gotta move this list around a little. Uh, Oh my gosh, Sammy! <laughs> Sammy, hang on, I need to like copy and paste this list that Sammy has come up with. You guys will understand when I read it off. Holy cow, Sammy! Are you just like going for superstar level? Oh my gosh, all right, here, here. Let's get Sammy's baby. <gasps> oh, what? What, a gray baby, what? This is so cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna name her August. I think that that is a gorgeous name that you have picked. And she is actually going to be jumpy, playful, and friendly. So maybe she's actually more meant for a happy home, like a good golden retriever. And uh, Sammy, or like Sammy here suggests, <clears throat> King Cheetah and Fox, Cheetah and Griffin, Pomeranian and Painted Dog, Dragon and Cheetah, German Shepherd and Sheep, Dingo and Dragon, Sheep and Pomeranian, Griffin and Sheep, Llama and Finnick Fox, Dragon and Kitsune, Hyrulean Wolf and Mountain Lion, Llama and King Cheetah, Panda and Fox, and Llama and Griffin. Holy cow, Sammy! Those sound like some amazing mixes. I have copied and pasted them into my big list. If any of those sounded cool to you guys, let me know. I have to say, I'm kind of curious about what would happen if we mixed a Llama and a King Cheetah now. That might have to happen very, very soon. Good science and good curiosity, friends. I'm really proud of you guys for coming up with such curious creation. All right, and then we finally have the last little one between Wilda and the kid. Oh, this baby! They're so cute! Do you think it's just a golden thing? Like everything that you cross with the golden is just going to be absolutely precious? Because it might be. All right, and this last little one is actually going to be. Dun 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 dun! 
Estelle. And Estelle, you suggest crossbreeding some dragons and smaller dogs. And I think you guys are definitely dreaming of dragons. So we'll have to see if we can work that out in the near future. And Estelle, you are going to be an independent, adventurous, and playful little golden retriever bear dog. I guess there would be <gasps> bear dogs, golden bear dogs. Maybe that's what we could go ahead and call these guys, especially because so many of them turned out to be golden. But all right, with Ken having finally found his way back home and returned to his owner, who hopefully is washing their hands and getting off a little bit of that Petri dish science before they go home again, we're actually going to see how Wilda's doing, raising a very large litter of little golden bear dogs. All right, Sunny, you're up first. <gasps> so big! Sunny, you're a trooper! You're literally a tank! Oh my gosh, Sunny is literally just like a tank-sized golden retriever. Okay, I think that you would like definitely feel that if this puppy ran into you. Be very careful if you are playing fetch with this dog. You you might hurt something. Look at the size of him! But otherwise looks exceptionally sweet and hopefully will be a very good boy indeed. Then we have Warrior. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that! Oh, Warrior, you got the tail! I think a lot of Warrior's traits would have turned out to be very bear-like, uh, but they have a shift in coloring. And since they're aggressive, I'm going to say this is one better left off for the forest. I love the tail, too. I wonder if bears used to have long tails. Like, why did bears end up with short tails? These are the questions I would love for science to be able to answer for me. And then Angeline, with this more bear-shaped muzzle, yeah, there we go. Slightly different muzzle, more like tight set eyes. In fact, why are bears, why do bears have smaller eyes? I have so many questions now that we're actually like looking at the details of what constructs a bear and a huge body. Yeah, this is another one that you don't want to run into. I have a feeling that Angeline can climb trees. <laughs> so you want to be very, very careful with this golden uh, bear dog. And then we've got Cheese. Cheese, how are you? Also huge. Also huge. Oh my gosh. They make the cutest puppies and they have just big fluffy bear dogs. I love it. And I'm very curious to see who, what like August is going to look like since August is one of the few who actually had totally different coloring. Wow. August, you turned out really pretty. A little bit more, like I feel like you have almost like a husky tone to you where you would expect this to be kind of a dog of the snows. I'm ready to go ahead and maybe climb some trees too. Look at you. And then finally we have little Estelle, one of the cutest of all of the little pups. Oh, oh. <gasps> Estelle! I did not expect this outcome. Oh, Estelle, you need to go ahead and head into town and find a family to adopt you. Maybe they need like their, their sheep guarded or something and you can kind of like patrol along the edges. But look at that face. Wow, I had no idea that the eyes, the muzzle, and the ears mixed together like that would be so enchanting, but it totally is. Oh, you guys, I love this. These are the kinds of dogs that I would never like intentionally create and create a pet, but when you throw together these random genes, you never know what you're going to get. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me as Wilda and as Ken went ahead and had a little litter of adorable puppies together. We are now full of so many amazing new ideas for our laboratory challenges. If you guys could, do please let me know who your favorite was. Leave some name suggestions for future crossbreeds down below. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.